What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Mac, and I'm back for another video. So, in today's video, man, I'm just going to be showing you guys my week three, I think it is now. Three progress. Um, it's a couple of days after week three, maybe two or three days after. But um, that's just because I had school and everything like that. Today's my day off, so I get to, you know, come and record a video real quick. But I, I washed my hair two days ago with i only washed it with african black soap didn't use any of the jamaican uh shea moisture jamaican black castle shea moisture uh shampoo i didn't use any conditioner i just washed it and then got out and did a comb comb uh, method and everything like that comb till dry so i only have curl enhancing smoothie on my hair and let me grab my comb let me grab my mirror. <sighs> All right, so this is, oh, my crown is a little bit messed up, but. I'm just gonna comb it out a little bit right now because uh, it's the first time I'm taking the do-rag off today. All right, anyways, this is the top of my head, my right side, my left side, the back. My back is my weakest side of all of them, and this one's my right side. My right side and my back side are weak, but my left side is pretty strong. And my top is pretty strong, too. But I do have a couple of forks. From not brushing for so long and everything like that. Um, but yeah, man, I've still been slacking a little bit on the brushing. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, I've been brushing here and there, but nothing like I used to. Just because school is my main priority right now. So, you know, I could find time to fit it, fit it in. But sometimes I forget about it and I just get too busy, you know. But basically... I do one washing style every week. And basically, I've been brushing my hair like three times a week, maybe. But the days that I do brush, I try to make sure that I get at least an hour and a half, two hour session in. Um, really, this is all I've been putting in my hair. This right here. Now, I know I had made that gel method. And yes, that's a good, that's a good method to follow if you want to get some nice lay and shine or whatever on your hair. Um... I don't know that I'm really going to be using it too frequently just because I'm not crazy about the way that gel feels in my hair. To me, it feels better than pomade does in my hair, but I'm not crazy about the way that it feels. So unless I'm really crazy wolfing and I really just need to lay down some first, this right here, my curl enhancing smoothie is my go-to. And then this is my wolfing go-to for the curling product. So yeah, because you know when you're wolfing, you don't want to over curl it. And tomorrow, I'm going to record another video. Hopefully tomorrow or Friday, um, I'm going to record another video, which is somebody in the comments have reminded me on an old video, and i just seen a comment recently. But I totally forgot about this video. Um, blonde bristle brushes versus black, br black or brown bristle brushes. So I'm going to do a comparison on that and which one I prefer and which one I think is better for straight hair waves. And everything like that. I'll go in and, you know, explain the differences and everything like that. And then next week, I don't know what my video is going to be. Maybe a crown isolation method. Because I've been getting that question a lot. And I have a hard crown to work with. So, um, I can show you guys a crown isolation method and what, you know, my steps are. But, yeah. Basically, my products. This is not a daily thing I use. The gel. It's not a daily thing that I use, and I wouldn't use it daily, and I wouldn't use it weekly even. I used it them a couple times, and that's it because, you know, it felt the right in my hair, but I don't like, I didn't like the way I felt leaving gel in my hair for so long. Leaving curling enhancing smoothie or a moisturizer in your hair for the whole week, to me, doesn't feel bad. But gel, it gets more and more stiff as the 
time goes on. I thought it was going to do the opposite and get less and less stiff, but it got more and more stiff. So, you know, there's a learning curve to everything. And with your hair, everybody's hair is different. So if you try out something or if I try out something that works for me and it don't work for you, that's you, man. It works for me. So, like I'm saying, this Curly Hands Smoothie, for me, this is like the godsend, man. I put this in once or twice a week. Most of the time, only once. But sometimes I'll put it in twice a week. And if I'm using this, I normally put it in twice a week and I'm wolfing. Just because when I'm wolfing, I feel like the hair underneath doesn't really get it as much. Get the moisture as much. And now, um, if my hair is super dry, this is a new thing that's in my arsenal. You guys know a little bit about this. I talked a little bit about this. This is a leave-in conditioner. For waves, you don't necessarily need a leave-in conditioner. You don't necessarily need it at all. Um, now, with the Curling Enhancing Smoothie, you need that. You need some sort of a curling product that works for you. This, my friends, is, is not necessarily to make your hair more curly or even to make the waves pop even more. It's when your hair feels super dry when you get done with a wash method with that African black soap. Sometimes it, or you guys, my camera had died, but what I was saying is sometimes with the African black soap, it makes your hair really dry feeling a lot of the times. But, you know, some of the times you can kind of put in the Curl Enhancing Smoothie and make your hair feel soft. But you can kind of realize when that point is after, you use, after you've used it so many times. I've been using this for months now four or five months i've had the same bar of african black soap and i've used it once a week but yeah sometimes the curling hands is smooth will make it feel soft again but sometimes you know in rare occasions if your hair gets really 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 dry from it um you know depending on how long you leave it in there for and everything like that while you're brushing you might need to use some of this after you wash the next day or whatever Throw some of this in there. And even this is good for maybe using, you know, you put in the curly handsy smoothie, but sometimes when you put in too much curly handsy smoothie, it makes your head itchy and you want that shine in your hair. Throw a little bit of this and you don't need much because it's very rich. Just a little tiny bit. You rub that in on your hands. You don't rub the moisture out of it like you do with the curly handsy smoothie. You just rub it on your hands evenly and then you apply it, <laughs> apply it into your hair. And that should do... A good amount of uh, shine for your hair and everything like that it shouldn't leave it dry or brittle ever um, that's even good for uh, medium hair waivers coarse hair waivers if you need that little bit of extra shine throw some of that in there and it'll bring you right back but then you know with with the crown isolation video that I'm gonna be having out because I've been working on my crown, you guys know, for the last four months, three months. Um, it's hard to get your crown to stay where you want it without using a pomade, a gel, uh, uh, you know, whatever you want to say. Something that holds it in place, a hairspray. I don't use any of that. All I use is what I show you guys that I use. Now, sometimes during a washing style. This is basically conditioner that I put together on my own. It's honey, some old conditioner I had left over, and some coconut oil mixed together. Now you guys can see that. Wait, let me turn down the light a little bit so you guys can see it. I want you guys to be able to see the consistency of this. Look, see how it don't pop out of the jar? It's thick conditioner. See that? It's thick conditioner. So, you know, that's also for if you're doing a washing style. A washing style, I'm talking about. Not a wash method, a washing style. Because most of the time I do a wash method, which is like that Bori wash method, where I just put some soap in there, brush it in, and then hop in the shower and wash it out. So yeah, that's what I do most of the time. But sometimes I do a washing style if I don't have the time to wait on the boring method and brush it in and everything like that or comb it in. 
but sometimes you need that extra moisture during the washing style. So you grab your conditioner, whether it's a conditioner that you added some coconut oil to or a conditioner that is already vital in everything that you need, like this one right here. You don't need much of this. Look, I still have a bunch of this, and I've been using this almost every wash. But basically, this stuff or this stuff, you put a little bit of it in, and then you put it on top of your lather is what you can do. That's going to be another method that I'm going to have coming out because apparently a lot of people have never done that. I've done that since I was a little kid, you know, with my hair, and it, it always seemed to work for me. It was just something that I found that worked for me, and nobody ever taught me it. Nobody ever showed me it. I just did it on my own one day, and it works. So, yeah, that's really good on the washing style. I'll explain that a little bit more maybe in a video next week. Let me know down below if you want to see the wash method with the conditioner or the crown isolation method. Let me know down below in the comments below. Um, because I, you know, if I put out one of them, then you guys will probably still be asking for the other one, but I don't, I want to put out what the majority wants more. So yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I think it's about 10 minutes now. I don't know. Cause the camera had died back there, but I think it's about 10 minutes. So yeah, man, you guys stay brushing, stay motivated and I'll catch ya.